Newton is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tar Heels have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. Let's go! Check. White Eagles! White Throws it, and it's tipped away. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Wants to go long and done. Doesn't get there. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. He unloads it, and it's incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. On the throw, incomplete pass. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That'll make it fourth and 10. Booming kick. Oh, what a hit. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. After positive yardage, he gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That brings him second and five. They'll knock him down for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Gets rid of this one. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's tackled around the 
22 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball of the 22. Throws it out there. He's to the 40. Complete. It's the junior. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. Perfect time for the play action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. Just throws this one away. From the 41 yard line, second down. Short over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 36. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Duke could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and it's wide right. No good. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Here they come. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. And they make the stop at the 46. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. He came down with it. Caught and he's hit immediately. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Duke is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it sails right on him. No good. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. For the 20, for the 10. 
Touchdown, Tar Heels! So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He splits the uprights with the extra point. North Carolina ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember. They still have to lead here. Even though the momentum right now might be facing against them, they've got to be able to just settle down and find some confidence in being able to reestablish who they are. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. Now this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. He's out of bounds around the 46 yard line. First down, Greg. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. at the 41. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. That'll bring up fourth and five. They'll call on the field goal unit. Ball's coming out quick. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Tar Heels. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It's up, looks long enough, and he missed it to the right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. North Carolina up seven points. Tackle after decent pickup. That brings up second and five. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. Makes the first down catch. 
Brought down around the 45-yard line. That play could not have come at a better time. Oh, that was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. Ready, check, white 80, Tiger, white, Tiger. And he's immediately tackled. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check, check. Red 18. Red 18. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 15. Number five makes the tackle at the 15 yard line. First down. Come on, baby. See what you got. Ready. Check. 180. Eagle. 180. Eagle. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. And this is the eighth play of the drive. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. Big opening. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. North Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. It's completely stopped immediately. Threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's tackled in the backfield for a loss. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. He's under pressure. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Here we go! Red 68! They hook up over the middle. That's good for 14 yards. 
That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. And five on five. Ready, check. Green, 88. Regular, regular, regular. 88. Motion, motion. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. Number 13 with the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down. Here we go. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. First down. Let's it go. You know, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Ready. Wide 80. He's going left. This one will fall incomplete. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. Let's go! He's in trouble. Going for it all to the end zone! These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. goes down quickly. That's four yards on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. He's on the run. The Tar Heels call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Tar Heels over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership, and that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Going deep. No, incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, Here we let's go. move on to the next play. He's tackled at the 47. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. 
These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 49. We've played a half. North Carolina leads it 17-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven on sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing and doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. North Carolina is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. receiver inside the 30 he gets hit out of bounds at about the 23 yard line this is a great pitch and catch combination and they hook up here for a big time game the 23-yard line. Second down. Mike Nine, Mike Nine. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. He gets rid of this one. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Zips it to the back. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Yet 
gets to about the 24-yard line. Fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. <laughs> not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. bring him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defense. At that time, it was well played by the defense. It's second and long. Ball on the 45-yard line. Run right side. Good outside run there. He's wrapped up for the sack. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. This one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here we go! 180! Catches it and he's punished. And down he goes around the 29 yard line. Get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 36. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Just throws this one away. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Takes the ball inside, gets to about the 37-yard line. Once and all, going deep. It's the sophomore that's got it. Down at the six. Touchdown, Duke.
He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Carolina's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them, and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. He gets sacked on the play. From their own 20-yard line, second down. North Carolina up seven points. He chucks it downfield. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. Tackle made right around the 30. Number 52 makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Gets to about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and six. No, 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 check that, check that. We're on Mike 52 right here. Ready! Rain check, check. Watch the run. Fire! And a quick throw. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. So at the end of the third quarter, North Carolina leads it 17-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Kicks up, and he nails a long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. This is where you always hear that saying, the big time players make big plays in big games. But this is where somebody on this offense needs to step up and be that big time player. Gets out to around the 35. Bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of five yards. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 30. And he's taken down at the 37. quickly about four yards on that play you don't have to throw it deep to have success any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence and he is drilled at the 35 that's a loss of six yards that brings up third and 12. and so it's another third down upcoming here And they got him. 
Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. From their own 44-yard line, second down, just under three to go in regulation. He tackles him for a loss. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Well, here we go, Herbie. you got to love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's going to make a play to win this thing. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's tackled right away. That makes it second and six. He wants it all. Picked off. That pick will end this game. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Just under two to go in the game. Blue Devils use their second timeout. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. And he's level at the 38. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Around the 30-yard line. Gain of eight yards. First down. From the 30-yard line. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Here's the eighth play of the series.
And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 2010 Tar Heel. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.